Hello all. Welcome back to our channel Nursery to Varsity. In the previous video, we discussed a basic C++ program to print a string. Now, let us consider a slightly more complex C++ program. Assume that we would like to read two numbers from the keyboard and display their average on the screen. Let us say we take the two numbers as 6.25 and 7.25. Output comes out to be sum equal to 13.5 and average equal to 6.75. So now, let us accomplish this code and see how it is done. Firstly, we will, we will write hash include iostream starting with the header file and then we will write using namespace std. We discussed this in our, in our previous video, you can see that and then we write int main. We also discussed that main is the function that every C++ program starts with. So and then we give the variable float variable float variables are made as float a b sum and average avg is the short form here you will notice that we have been we, we have given a and b these are the two numbers whose input we want from the user and sum stores the summation of the two numbers and average has the final answer so now we will ask the user to enter the two numbers this is a message to the user so that it gets we have to input the two numbers and then we'll, we, we will take input using cn cn is the use to take the input from the user here in the in the comment we will write reads the number so that we may remember that it is used to read the number from the keyboard and here we can write it is the variable declaration these are the input statements which says that it causes the program to wait for the user to type in a number cn is a predefined object in c++ that corresponds to the standard input stream this operator is known as extraction or get from operator it extracts or takes the value from the keyboard and assigns it to the variable on its right so now we have taken the input now we will do summation so sum equal to a plus b this is how it is written this is the assignment operator which assigns the value a plus b to the variable sum and then we write avg which is the variable for the average as we all know that average is just sum divided by total number of variables so here sum divided by 2 and then we will print it see out sum equal to as we want it like this we display to the output screen and the value of sum and then we want the line to be changed so backslash n this is used to change the line and then we want output of average we will write average here average equal to and then the variable avg and then here we can write again backslash n or we can even discard it as we don't need to change the line here and then return 0 return 0 is the exit status so now let's build it nothing to be done all items are up to date and then if we run it here the output screen is asking for the enter two numbers let's write 10 and 20 output comes out to be sum equal to 30 and average equal to 15 now again let's try it for the float numbers as we have taken the float numbers now there is no need to build it as we have already built it once if we do any changes then we have to build it again and ask the user it build it and then run it so let's if we write 6.25 and 7.5 it gives 13.5 and average equal to 6.75 as we have seen in the starting of this video let's discuss two three points more here we have used this insertion operator two three times and if we want these two lines to be combined it can also be done let's see how it is done let's just remove it and combine the statements and again write the insertion operator and now if we run it first we have to build it there is no changes to be done target is up to date nothing is to be done and then if we run it the same thing happens if we give the input 10 and 20 
the sum comes out to be thirty and average comes out to be fifty. That is that that means that there is no changes. And now the same thing can be done use in C in two. We can combine these two statements like this. Control Z. Let's just comment it and write it like this. And if we again build it, there is no changes to be done. And then if we run it and give the input like this time, if we give six point two five and seven point two five. It gives the same output, sum equal to thirteen point five and average equal to six point seven five. So now let's close it. So you you might be thinking that we are entering ten and then twenty. Then what value A is accepting and what value B is accepting? So remember that the values are assigned from left to right. So ten is assigned to A and twenty is assigned to B. And if we change the order here, let's write B here and A here. Then if we run it and build it. Then, if we give ten and twenty, the output is same. But the thing is, this time ten is assigned to B and twenty is assigned to A. So now let's see some debugging programs. Identify the error and generate the correct output of the following programs. So the first program here is you have to see this program and identify the error and then generate the out correct output out of this program. This is the first assignment, and this is the second assignment. we will discuss the solutions in our next video till then keep practicing so that's all for today hope you like this session thanks for watching like share and subscribe for any query you may leave a comment in the comment box or mail us at nightwear@gmail.com you may also follow us at our other social media handles links to them are given here see you soon in the next video till then enjoy learning